Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. So, look what I got today. I have some micro glue dots, okay? And I have my pen from Enablers Outpost. How beautiful is that? But it has no ends. Hmm, what am I gonna do? So, recently I had, someone had asked me, um, and if you guys have any kind of information that you want, like video ideas or anything like that, let me know, you know. Um, I just finished filming um, a video on placing ABs um, with different kinds of waxes, different kinds of pin tips and whatever. Um, and then um, I had someone ask me a while back if I would do a video showing how to fill um, and use the glue dots for your pins. So I know a lot, a lot, a lot of people use these. And I'm gonna say right now, just a quick full disclosure. Um, the I got the idea from using the micro glue dots from um, Donnie at Diamond Painting with Donnie, um, or Diamond Painting by Donnie. Uh, but anyway, I got that idea from her forever ago and I've been using them for a really long time. So, um, I wanted to let, um, I wish I could remember who it was that asked me that question about using the glue dots. Um, but I think it was in one of my last, um, or currently one of the last couple of live videos that I did. So anyway, let me pull this random rogue drill off of here. It is clinging and hanging on for dear life, man. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so... Um, first thing that I want to do is just going to take my pen. This is the one I'm using right now. And, um, I'm going to put a single, this is a clean, brand new single tip here. I'm just going to pop it in. And then this is a brand new clean four placer. I'm just going to pop that one in. And, um, I may need to take some tape because that was a little bit loose. Hold on just a second. Yeah, I don't have any washi tape handy handy right near me, so I'm just gonna use a piece of scotch tape. Um, scotch tape works too. Um, sometimes you just have to kind of, um, Play around with it until you get the right um, amount, you know, I guess. But I always snip that little bit of excess off and then push it down in there. Okay, nice and tight. All right. Now we have our fresh, empty um, placers, whatever you want to call them multi-placer and single placer. And then we're gonna use the, the micro glue dots. Now I know there are different sizes of the glue dots. Um, this one is the micro, okay? This is the one that works better in the um, single tip, I guess, from what I've been told. I would like to buy some of the bigger glue dots, maybe, I think, I don't know what the different ones, does it say on here? What different sizes they have. Um, I don't see anything. I don't see nothing. But um, they do have other sizes. And I do like them in my multi-placer as well as my single placer. Um, so, I'll show how you load both of them, okay? And then we'll use both of them for a minute so that you can see but anyway i got you should be able to find these in any craft store walmart target um i would think anywhere like that it's a little bit of instant tacky from my 
white putty stuff, but um, it comes on a roll. I grabbed this one off Amazon. I'll leave the link to this on Amazon in the description box so you can just grab it if you don't want to like get out and run to the store and get some, you know. Um, but it comes on a roll. Now keep in mind the roll is bigger than this, but I've used the fire out of this stuff, okay? But it comes on a roll. And I don't know if you can see, but there are literally little, I'm trying to get it at an angle where you can see it good. Um, hold on. It's been used to there. So let me pull that off, throw that in the trash. But can you see those little dots? Like here's one, there's one, there's one. I hope you can see that. Um, but they're little, they're spaced, you know, a little ways apart. So, and they're teeny, 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 tiny. They're probably, I mean, a little bit bigger around than your single placer. So, one thing you're going to want on hand is some, not the rounded ones, but your pointy tweezers that you get in a lot of your kits. Not your rounded ones, but your pointy, stab your eye out ones. You want those. Okay, first we're going to fill our single placer. Okay, okay, okay. And what I do, the easiest for me is to just find like where the roll starts there. And then I'll just, trying to get it at an angle where you can see, take my single placer and just kind of like peel it up. Peel that little glue dot up. And there you can see it is hanging on. It's just right there on the very end. Okay. And then I'll take my tweezers and just kind of use them to push it down inside there. Okay. To the very bottom. Sometimes it might want to cling to your tweezers, but that's okay. And then I'll go back and grab another one. Usually I'll do this three or four times, okay? It takes three or four to fill it up. And I just kind of press it and compact it down in there with the tweezers, okay? Grab another one. There it is. And we'll see if three will be enough for this one. Just kind of like fold it over and stick it down in there. And sometimes you can kind of tell when you push down in there with your tweezers, it'll like um, come back up to the edge. But can you see, can you see it in there? I could probably get away with putting one more in there. Let me do that. Now I know if you use the um, stainless steel tips, the everlasting tips, um, like this one, it's silver. If this one's from everlasting tips, this one takes more for whatever reason. I feel like it takes me like four or five. Um, but, and then I'll grab one more. I think this is number four. And it might actually be too much, but we'll see. I'm trying to make sure the camera's focused. It might be a little bit much, but I think it's it'll be okay. Okay, yeah, I can see it like spilling out a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, can you see there's a little bit sticking out? I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But what I do is I just take my finger and press, spin it around, um, kind of push it down in there with my thumb, my finger, you can use the palm of your hand. Um, and I'll just do that a few times and then 
Another thing you can do is just kind of like rub it on your jeans or tap it on your jeans or like your shirt, you know, just to get a little bit of like dirty it up a little bit, okay? Now, let's place a couple of drills and see what happens and then we'll fill up our multi-placer, okay? Let me... First of all, all I have here left to do is ABs, and I really don't want to use fresh um, glue dots. So let me pick another color. Let me pull this up, push things out of my way. Start this new square here. And we will pick a color, okay? Let's pick, since there's a lot of this yellowy, we'll use that color first. Pour some in my Muni Made tray. Be sure to check Muni Made out on Etsy. Um, it's where I got my tray from. I love, love, love my tray. Okay, so um, I'm gonna grab this release paper here and just set it down there so my tray don't get stuck too awful bad to my canvas. Um. Okay, so we got our single placer filled with the um, glue dots, okay? M mashed it around a little bit. Now, are you ready for some loud pop, pop, pop? <laughs> let's see if we get that, okay? Let's go. Yeah. Don't you love that noise? I love that pop. That's like such a satisfying sound, right? Okay, I'll place another row. All right, now that we did that, we will fill the multi-placer, okay? Where did the roll go? Here we go. Okay, so now I use the roll up to about right there. I'm weird, I like to keep that like pulled off, you know? <laughs> okay, so what I do, again, you're gonna want your, um, stabby eye out tweezers handy handy dandy okay and then you're going to take your empty multi-placer and where your glue dots are at even though if it's hard to see that I don't know I think it's going to be hard for you to see but I just kind of like roll it up like I did the other one but I'll just do that like two or three times like grab three dots on one side so, like here, you can see I have a few, there's three dots right there on this side of the multi-placer. I'll take my tweezers and just kind of pull up on the side where it's kind of like glued down from picking it up and then shove it down into the multi-placer, okay? Now, the bigger the multi-placer, obviously, the more glue dots you're going to have to use. That is why I would like to get some of the other sizes um, so that I'm not wasting a lot of the, the micro ones, you know what I mean? Because I do really like using the glue dots in the multi-placer. 
Um, but it takes a few, you know? And it takes a little bit to fill it up, but that's okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab, since I have some on that side, I'll flip it over and grab some on the other corner of the multi-placer. One, two, three. Okay. And then I will push that in on that side. Again, it's a little bit stuck there. Um, but I just use those tweezers and push that in there. Okay. And then, can you see there, I have like some on each corner. So then what I do is I go back and I grab three, um, here we go, three, and I use the middle part of the multi-placer and just kind of scoop three up in the center part of it. And then again, use the tweezers to just push it in there. The glue dots will stick to your tweezers, but you know, it's like just saying, please, please, no, no, please. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> mm. And you'll want to look at it and see, cause you're going to want it level with the actual multi-placer, you know, with the edge of it. And I can see I need some more like here on this side. So I'm gonna grab another one. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It takes a few of these in your multi-placers, okay? That's why it's probably worth checking out um, the bigger sizes for your multi-placers. But I mean, it's worth trying, you know, at least once in a multi-placer to see if it's even something that, you know, you like to do, like to use. So what I try to do is I just try to fill it up until, until, you know, um, it looks like it's full, okay? And then I'll try it out. And if I feel like I have to add a little bit more, then I'll add a little bit more. But we'll go ahead and try it now. I think I have a total in this four placer of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 maybe all together. So let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Pop. Pop. <laughs> mm. So there you can see it's working. Um, single placer. So satisfying of a sound, right? Pop, pop, pop. Okay. Um, yeah, you can see that it seems to be working pretty good. Um, so if after a while I feel like it's losing its grippy grip or whatever, then I might go ahead and add another one. Uh, but you know, it just really depends on, on you, you know? So I hope that this was easy enough or looked easy enough or makes sense. Um, or that you could even see well enough in the video what I was actually doing. It's hard to um, film up close things like that for me because my eyes are so bad. Um, but yeah, I really like using the glue dots um, for both single and multi-placer. And um, they last for quite a while. They last a really long time, which I like. So, um... I do like using glue dots for placing ABs as well. However, I will say 
um, make sure that it's not fresh blue dots for your ABs or um, it's going to pull a lot of that coating off. Um, FYI. All right. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Um, one thing that I can show you real quick is if this start and it goes for this end too. This is a good way to get your um, to get your most bang for your buck as far as the glue dots go, which they're inexpensive anyway. So, and I've had this forever and still have, you know, I mean, quite a bit left on there. But anyway, um, what I do whenever it starts getting where it's losing, it's sticky and it's not sticky enough. I'll just pull, grab like, um, my pointy tweezers and get in there and pull that out like you're going to clean it out. Instead of throwing it away, turn it over so that this, the dirty end of the whack or blue dot is like up here and the clean part that's up here is down there. So just flip the glue around and then you can do the same with this. Pull this all out, kind of turn it over and stick it all back in and then you got a whole section of clean glue, right? So you get double the use out of it. I've even done that like two or three times. <laughs> turn them around, turn them around, turn them around, turn them around. Um, but yeah. So anyway, I uh, hope this was helpful. Now I'm all like, I don't want to quit um, diamond painting because I love that sound. But that's all I'm going to do for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comment section. Um, yeah, that's what I have for you for today. So, you guys take care. Have a great rest of the day. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button before you head out of here. And if you're new here, make sure to um, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified the next time I upload another video. So, pop goes the weasel. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Bye.